This is the shut off valve that we make to go with the best filter. It's got a three quarter inch thread that screws in there. There's actually a half inch thread behind it if you've got a different filter with a half inch. And it just means that you can make your tank filling so much easier. We also make a tank filling spout to help you out with that. You can make these for yourself out of a piece of taste free drink water hose, a stiff fit and a female normal hose fitting. We connect the pair together and this is going to be how we fill the tank. Uh, the reason we need the shut off valve is because with a flat hose, when you put pressure through this, it goes solid like a fire hose. But if there's no pressure, it tends to jump around a little bit. And because we're literally running in and out again, you need to build up the pressure to start with by turning the valve off. And then once we've sorted the hose out, you turn it on and everything will flow nicely. The reason that I'm really passionate about making sure that you use a really good filter when you fill your tank is because filters like this one add a lot of silver to the water and it's silver that kills bacteria ongoing. Chlorine, if you just put stranded town water in there, will evaporate after a few days. And if you leave that water sitting there, it has a chance to get bacteria in it because there's always vents in your tanks in order to equalize the pressure when the water's in or out. There's air vents that get the air in. That can carry pathogens and they can make your water sour, which could then eventually make you sick. So for me, filtering for tank filling is even more critical than filtering for normal inline use under pressure. Although I still recommend it for inline use under pressure because when you pack your van away, there's always going to be some residual water, maybe in the hot water system or just in the bottom of the pipes. And you just want to make sure that that stays protected. <laughs> So I've turned the valve, the, the shut off valve into stop position and I'm just going to insert it in here. The reason we use such a stiff hose is so that you can poke it in and walk away. Connect it to the tap, turn it off and we're ready to go. Okay, so this isn't a very good setup, but it's very easy to fix. Now that we've got some pressure there, we can just make, make the loops. The reason that the stop valve is really handy is because you can control the flow. The slower the flow through the filter, the more effective it is. And for tank filling, hey, you can walk around and do something else while you're waiting. So you might as well slow it right down to get the cleanest water possible into your tank. This is the off position. If I turn it all the way to full, I get a lot of water, but I can actually control the flow up this end for just what I want for tank filling. You flow, you can control the flow. Oh, thanks, Paul. That doesn't help. 